Hey you guys, welcome to Taylor Made Natural. Today we're going to talk about some tips to growing your baby's hair nice and long. So stay tuned. I'm spreading my mind all too profound. Eyes go so bright, it's full of sun. Appreciate the beauty that's all around. The past has passed, now all things. Hi. Hey guys, so the irony of this video is that my hair looks a mess. But today we're going to focus on Jaylani's head. I want to show you guys some things that I use um, while I'm doing her hair. And I want to give you some tips on how to get your baby's hair nice and long and strong. Jaylani actually has very healthy hair. The reason why I know this is because of her shrinkage. We all know with natural hair, shrinkage is Keys. Every time I wash her hair, this is usually the result. I washed it yesterday. It's not freshly washed, but it's kind of freshly washed. I washed it yesterday, and um, you'll see after we put the ponytails in how long it is, but how short it looks right now. Hey, mommy. Say, mommy, who you talking to? The first tip to get your baby's hair long and strong is going to be to keep it moisturized. So we all know with natural hair, doing less is more and all that good stuff. But with the baby's hair, they kind of need a little jump start, especially our little girls. And keeping it moisturized would be a very good thing for their hair. So what I'm currently using on Jelani's hair, which like I said, less is more. This is the only product that I use on Jelani's hair. Coconut oil and some good old, good old water. So I have this little spray bottle. I usually spritz her hair first all over and then I'll layer it with some coconut oil and then I'll get to the detangling process. For my second tip, it is to keep baby's hair detangled. If it stays knotted up, then dreads will start to form unless that's what you're aiming for. Don't be upset with me. Unless that's what you're aiming for, I don't think we want dreads right now. So, just gonna spray this all over you, girl. And I like this little bottle. I got it from the Dollar Tree, my favorite store, because it's a mist. It's more of a mist than like a squirt on some water. So, I don't have to get her scalp wet. I could just get these little edges wet and I kind of just work in the water. And keeping it moisturized helps with detangling more than you know. So, my third tip is going to be to keep the baby's back of the hair. This back part back here, we all know that our babies struggle with that because they're laying on it all the time. They're laying on it, and if it's not kept in a little twist, a little braid, a little ponytail, then this this back hair will start to break off. And then you'll the result of that is having really long hair at the top and really short hair in the back, or no hair in the back. My son, he had a bald spot until I started managing the back of his head. Oh. The fourth tip also has to do with your hair breaking off. You want to be mindful of the rubber bands or scrunchies that you choose to use for baby's hair. Do a little research and see what you might what you might find is good for them. But I have these super stretchy this pack is really old, but it even says on there will not break hair. Super stretch. So these rubber bands can be found at Sally's. Um, I'll try to leave a link for th some of this stuff below. But literally, they will break. Those rubber bands will break before it breaks your baby hair. Every time I take one out of her hair, I look at it to make sure none of her hair is left on there. And the only downfall to those rubber bands is with her hair and it's moisturized uh they do tend to break unless i double up on them so if i use two then they'll be fine and this i don't want you to eat but feel free to distract them with what you get i usually just part it into sections and go straight in from there jaylani is a mover so that's something 
that I have to deal with. I've learned to deal with it just fine. I don't mind. Move as long as you want, as long as I can still get these rubber bands in there. I use a little toothbrush to brush some ponytails together. Stinky mama, you don't like what I give you? Here you go. Oh, you don't? Any cradle cap that you might notice or the dry flakes on their skin, be sure to coconut oil it and then like gently scratch it out with a comb. You don't want to leave that in there because it gets hard and then it breaks. It finally falls out with their hair. So Jelani did have this, she did have this problem in the beginning, but mama nip that in the bud as soon as possible. I can't have my baby out here bald. Something easy. And as you can see, once it's stretched out, where did this length come from, Lonnie? Where did it come from? Okay, you guys, your four tips, again, are gonna be to moisturize the baby's hair, detangle the baby's hair, keep that back managed, and use stretchy rubber bands or scrunchies that will not break baby's hair. You could do one or two ponies back there as long as when she lays down, she's not laying on her hair. Last thing that I use right after she's fall, fallen asleep for a little, good old bonnets. Something satin, or even if you could switch her pillowcase for her. <laughs> Aw, you're so cutie. Say hi. Hi. You say hi, butt. Hi. All right, you guys, and that's it. Thing I wanna do for this video, I wanted to do a little giveaway for some baby accessories. I have some e-gift cards that I wanna give away. So rules to this giveaway, I'm gonna leave the links for all the, I'm gonna leave links for the websites for all the gift cards that I have and the amounts. I will also leave my, I will also leave my email, so please subscribe to the channel first. Email me that you subscribe and are interested in the giveaway, and tell me which one you're interested in, and it'll they'll go on a first come, first come, first serve basis. I'll email you back the gift card number. It's completely free.